This is Rejoice 1023, WYCA FM and HD, Crete, Chicago, WPWX Hammond, Chicago, HD Channel 2, and WYRB Genoa Rockford DeKalb, HD Channel 3. Welcome to the St. Michael Spiritual Hour with your host, Reverend Dr. Michael O. Chapman. The St. Michael Spiritual Hour believes in a positive spiritual attitude for positive spiritual attainment. This show is sponsored by St. Michael's Church and Gift Shop. Their purpose is to lift people up as they lift up the name of Jesus. They want to share positive energy and stories with you to help you think, meditate, and spiritually make it. This is your hour.
Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to the St. Michael Spiritual Hour, where we believe in a positive spiritual attitude for positive spiritual attainment. This show is sponsored by St. Michael Spiritual Church and the gift shop located P.O. Box 578, Crete, Illinois, 60417. The gift shop is located at 4855 South Princeton Avenue in Chicago. Go to www.drmichaelochapman for more information or call us direct at 708-752-0895. That's 708-752-0895. The purpose of this program is to lift people up. As we lift up the name of Jesus, we want to share positive energy with you and stories with you to help you think, meditate, and spiritually make it. This is your hour. Don't you touch that dial. Lock us in. God is awesome. Remember, the glass is half full. It is not half empty, and we are here with you today because we love you. No matter where you are in the world, we send out positive thoughts and love to wrap you up. And and, and our topic tonight, you can make it. Don't you give up. Don't you take a step back. Keep on pressing forward. God is awesome. And uh, you can make it today. So you can join us on the web at www.rejoice102.com. Tell somebody there that the show is on right now. Wake them up. Or uh, give them a, a reminder phone call right now, www.rejoice102.com. Call us if you have a comment. We could touch and agree with you at 708-445-9922 or in Indiana at 219-933-9922 or in Chicago at 773-288-9922. Wherever you are in the world, we send you a lot of love right now. We send, we blessed everyone um, all over the world today, even on the West Coast, on the East Coast, in South America, in Canada, wherever you are, wherever this radio station goes, we know that uh, we send you nothing but positive love. Our truckers on the on the road today, God bless you. Be safe is our prayer. And uh, call us and let, let us know how you're doing. And we'll touch and agree that you'll be uh, safe and everything will be all right with you. For those who are at home today, God bless you. Tell someone that God is awesome. And those, if you're driving home from work, you had a fantastic day. All right, things are only going to get better if you're on your way to work. Get in your mind that you're going to have a great day today. Nothing's going to stop you from having a great day. Don't let anyone disturb your spirit today. Okay, you are in charge of that today. And just uh, those that have come up to disturb you, pray for them. Those that come up to need help, pray for them. All right, don't be discouraged today. So lift yourself up. All families, we send a lot of love out today. And those who are who are uh, shooting and killing and going to rob and steal, we pray for you this morning as well. We pray for those who uh, feel like they need to take someone's life right now. We ask that the Lord turn you around right now. It's not that important. And let God fight your battles for you, and you just continue to move on. It's better to be alive. We ask that, that you be alive so you can complete your mission here. And that's our prayer for you. So whatever, you know, don't let people disturb you to the point where you are, are doing something that you should not do. And we ask that all people, young people, old people, put the guns away. Put the gu- there, there are absolutely no reason to have one except to shoot somebody. So we're asking that you do that. And, and innocent people, children are being hurt today. And we send a lot of love to the families right now. Uh, don't be, um, don't say that it could, it could never happen to you. It can happen to you. So we ask that you put the guns down, curb the violence, uh, not don't let us kill ourselves don't let us do that and uh uh and we try to live love one another that's the that's the word love one another you can't do that i love you and shoot you the next minute that's not what we're trying to do so we want to live and do god's will so we pray for all those families who have had lost ones and all those who who are angry about that because two wrongs don't make a right and we're saying that we send a lot of love out tonight. If you know someone right now who has a weapon, they need to put it down, put it away, or turn it in. That's our prayer. And let God step into their lives. That's that's our prayer right now. And if you have one, if you think that is if you think that's put up, you think that nobody can get it, you better think again. Because if you can get it, somebody else can get it as well. All right. There's no need for us to live in fear. So I'm I'm saying that to you tonight. Uh, that um, those who need help, they can get help. And we pray for them to get help. And, and ministers and pastors and all of us need to touch and agree that we're going to help those that come 
for help today okay so god bless you this morning god keep you and strengthen you we're going to go to we gonna, let's pray first and we're going to pray this morning and we're going to pray for um our nation our president we're going to pray for uh, all those who are in need of help this morning father we come to say thank you we bless you right now. We thank you for allowing us to be on this air right now. We bless the station. We bless the engineer. We bless everyone associated with this station right now, Father. We bless those that are in listening ear right now that need your help. We send nothing but love and uh, strength to them in the name of Jesus right now. We bless every pastor, every um, uh, every minister right now, Father, whatever they're e- doing. We ask that you be in charge of them and you let they let God in their lives right now is our prayer. We bless all our children right now, Father. Continue to cover them with the blood is our prayer. We bless everyone in the nursing home. Send them uh, love right now. Those in hospitals, we send the healing force to them. And those that take care of the, uh, the sick right now, we send a lot of love and strength to them as well. Bless everyone in that's incarcerated right now. Free their mind is our, pro- is our prayer touch them right now those on the road we ask for traveling mercy in the name of jesus right now father those that think about taking their lives we rebuke them rebuke that in the name of jesus right now those that need help father we ask that you send them help in the name of jesus bless all those who feeling lonely right now father be a comfort to them is our prayer lift them up in the name of jesus is our prayer all these blessings we ask in jesus name amen so god bless you this morning god keep you if you have a thought if you want us to touch and agree with you if you need inspiration call us at 708-445-9922-219-933-9922-773-2889-922 now listen uh you could be you say i was doing so well i was doing such a good job and now i'm in this month right here and it's just it's just uh uh, kind of a little confusion. I'm in this month, and I don't know what's going to happen. It may be a transition time for you, but don't you give up. The transition is good. It's all good. So don't you be so low that you cannot get get up, and don't you think that God has abandoned you? You have to still keep the faith. You have to still stand strong. You still have to pray. Pray even a little bit more. You still may have to fast. You may have to do some things. You may have to go back to the altar. You may have to go uh, and uh, kneel and put things on there literally. And then uh, spiritually let it go and let God direct your path. And then be a listener. Be a listener. And then be uh, obedient to what he has to say for you. Remove your ego out of the way. Remove your selfish um uh, self-serving self remove that out of the way and then let God minister to you and th- then he'll send someone to give you a message then listen to the message listen to the message and obey it and thank God for that so you can continue to grow and it, it's not going to be easy it's going to be hard of course it's going to be uh, hard it's going to be little obstacles it's not going to be a breeze but then you have to have strength enough to stand you have to have strength enough to to uh, gird yourself up pull yourself up and continue to pray and continue to do what you need to do to to uh to stay on god's mission all right and if every round goes higher and higher that takes power and strength to go a little higher okay so god bless you this morning god keep it we'll be right back i don't mind waiting hallelujah i don't mind I don't mind waiting <laughs> on you, Lord. Lord. Lord, 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 I 
don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. Oh, you know, all the music, everybody sing it. Come on. I don't mind. y'all feel that welcome back to st michael spiritual hour i'm your host dr michael o chapman pastor st michael spiritual church uh just happy to be here with you this morning and i don't know if you ever been to that point where you know you say, uh, I can't wait. I just, I'm at the, at my, I'm at my back is up against the wall. And I'm saying, yes, you can. You can wait. You've done all you can do. You've prayed. You, you, you've done all you could do. So now it's your turn to kind of wait. And then the, while you're waiting, meditate. Uh, someone told me today, they said, um, what I, what I do is, and I never knew this at all, just looking at the person, but they were a fisher, fisherman. And, uh, she said that I can go and sit out there and fish for hours, for hours on end. And I said, are you kidding me? And, and that takes to me, that takes a lot of patience. And uh, she said, what I do is I just get uh, with myself. It's an opportunity to meditate and be with myself. So I'm like, do you turn the music on? Do you listen to music? Do you have your iPod? Do you have the? And she said, no, I have absolutely nothing. I just sit there. And uh, become one with, you no, know, that's becoming one with nature, you know, becoming one with nature. And then I just sit there and meditate and let, and, and think about, abs- you know, nothing, nothing at all. And then uh, I fish. Now, now, for her, that was her closet. That's her moment. That's her time. That's her time, and that's her peaceful moment. Everyone should have that, whether it's listening for, you know, some people can listen to music, uh, hour after hour that's your time and that's your moment that's your moment some people can sit um uh under a tree and then just be there and that's fine some people go to malls and walk and shop and that's your time and that's your hour to think and meditate and just sit there and uh enjoy yourself with yourself enjoy god some people drive and they drive and drive and they say they feel good just being with now that's being with nature because you're being with you're being with the road and then some people go and uh they're on uh, their motorcycles they feel the air they feel the breeze and it's you become one with nature become one with nature so in that in your moment is your time to be with with God and to be one with nature and there's nothing wrong with that at all but in that is your time to wait and allow God to do what he does and your your thing is not to move too soon not to say the wrong thing and then just wait for God to do what he does best and he works things out all of the time so try that whatever your moment is whatever your uh, uh, sanctuary is whatever your time to get with God whatever your altar is do that and see if God picks you up. Okay. God bless you this morning. Before we get to our line, I think we have a call on the air. Caller, you on the air? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Annie. How are you? I'm fine. How are you doing? Fantastic. Thank you it's for your wonderful. prayers. Thank you for your prayers. First, I want to say get on to God who's the head of my life yes. this morning. Yes. 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 He's the head of my life. He is. It's good to, have, it's good to know who, where you stand. You yes. Know, with God. That's right. Yes. That's right. That's right, and have an anchor, you know. Well, I got a a prayer for my family, Michael's family, my family. Okay. And uh, I, a, a friend of mine is um, a young man. Come on, miss suicide. Oh. He can't find a job. He can't buy no gas, go in his automobile. 
we talked to him. But I told him I'm going to put him in prayer. Good. His name is Billy. Billy, you put him on my list. And I'm going to put him on your prayer list. Okay. And also my family, Michael's family. Okay. On the prayer list also. Okay. Yes, but bless the, the nation. I watched the news last night. You know, the world is a mess. Yeah. It's a mess. Yeah. The physical People world. don't think about God. No. They doing whatever they want to do. Mm-hmm. Don't think about the righteous. Yeah. No righteous. Doing all wrong. But we got to pray for Don't them. give God no thank, no praise. Right. It's so sad that people have mind to do what they do. Mm-hmm. People better wake up. Yeah. Better wake up. Yeah. Call God when they come back. Yeah. You ain't come back. Well, that's our job to kind of help them, uh, to help them wake up and get in touch with God, right? Kind of turn right. them around. That's right. That's right. That's, that's right. so true. So I'm going to I'm going to pray for uh, Billy and the Michael's family. Going to put them on our list that they don't give up at all. That that's God right. steps in with them. Is that all right? That's, right? that's so true. All right. All right. All right. Well, thank you, Andy, for calling. Thank you, and God bless you. Thank you so much. All right. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. All right. Also, we're going to pray for uh, Billy. We, we do not like to hear about uh, people. You know, they get to the end where uh, they feel like the only way out is to take their, take their life. And we're saying, no, there's, there's, an, there's another option that God can bring you through. And when you find someone like that, if they're telling you about it, they want you to help them. And your job is to help them. Don't ignore it. Don't ignore it at all. It is very serious. You know, at a school where school and in schools uh even if a student mentions the fact that they want to not live or they don't want to take their life it becomes an emergency everyone's called and everyone pitches in to save their child's life no matter what grade they are kindergarten pre-k pre-k all the way up to uh high school it becomes an emergency so uh, when they come to you and they're looking for help and you see that your job is to pray, rebuke that, and then give them a scripture, give them a song, and tell them that they're not by themselves, and encourage them that they can make it. They can make it. And you say, well, I don't know anybody like that. Uh, that's even worse because there may be someone right under your nose who has been coming to you, and you haven't recognized it, okay? So pray for your children. Pray for those who are not your children. Who Pray for your children's friends. Pray for uh, your neighbors. Pray for your cousins, your relatives you haven't heard. Check on them. Give them a well-being uh, check and ask them if, if everything is okay. And when they just give you that, yeah, everything's fine, and you know in your gut or in your spirit that it's not, then you pray for them and ask them if, if it's anything they can do and just encourage them that they can make it. Tell them a story about how you used to uh, feel low and your back was up against the wall and how God brought you through. And that kind of helps them out, okay? So God bless you this morning, God. You know, they can call me uh, uh, offline at 708-752-0895 any time of the day. 708-752-0895. Okay, now let's go to our prayer list. Raj, you're on our prayer list this morning. Annie, thank you, you're on the list. And Billy, we, we lift you up in the name of Jesus. All our Angies uh, in Iowa, especially we haven't heard from her, Angie in Iowa. Angie in uh, Illinois, Minister Angie, God bless you. Angie in Virginia, we lift you up as well as Betty. God bless you and God keep you. Sister Jones, we're lifting you up this morning. Milton Jones, God bless you. We give you a lot of courage this morning. The Dickerson family, hang in there. Uh, Reverend Evelyn Atwood, we pray for you this morning. God bless you and God keep you. Francine Lee, God bless you and God keep you as well. The Lane family, we send you a lot of love. The Jackson family, we lift you up as well. Renisha, God bless you and God keep you and your babies. God bless you. The Cephas family with uh, Illinois Gold, uh, we haven't heard from you. We ask that you continue. You better not give up. You got to get this done. You've come too far to turn around. Um, and the Panthers, the Pink Panthers jumping jump rope team we send you a lot of love as well and god bless you and god keep you uh so we strengthen you all the families today we send you a lot of love uh 
Also, Donna, God bless you and God keep you as well. All right, so we see a lot of love today. Remember, uh, it's easy to uh, it's easy to just give up, but we don't want you to give up at all. We don't want you to give up. We want you to stay focused and stay uh, stay with God today. Okay, we'll be right back with our scripture for the week. <laughs> Spiritual Hour. 